Good morning. It is January 5th, 2021. This marks the 10-year anniversary of me blowing the whistle on Scott Schellenberger, Greg Bernstein, and the Democratic Party. 10 years ago, January the 11th, 2011, I got a letter from the city solicitor saying that they can't, part they can't do nothing about my interstate compact. I was making a documentary about the war on drugs, racism and corruption in the Democratic Party and the Republican Party. I was showing you the war on drugs. We traded the penitentiary for the plantation, cotton for cocaine, and we the cash crop. I've been doing this movie called Letters Design. That's been since 2006. Everything that I had from Letters Design was taken by the Baltimore County Police Department on February the 7th, 2011. I had to reshoot everything that you took from me in 2011. Now I'm ready to reshoot. I'm ready to redistribute the information. Letters Design is just one movie. I got like 13 more movies. There's 14 movies in all. And it all started with this. That's my son, Jarrell Renew Ray Davis. All right, y'all talk about homeowner. All right, this is the story. That's Zion. That's my son. We're not supposed to bury our kids. Our kids are supposed to bury us. That's the design of life. But instead of y'all dealing with this issue, y'all threw me underneath the bus and called me a terrorist. Y'all said I was... Y'all accused me of crimes I didn't commit. All right, and I want y'all to read this. Because this is what this was this is what started this. This is what the media did with misinformation. I went home to file a two point five billion dollar class action lawsuit. It wasn't nothing to do with my son Jarrell, all right? Because that's gonna take care of itself. I went to file a class action lawsuit about the the war on drugs and the way that black people sell out the black community. That's Jack Young and Speaker Jones. That's Judge Bell and Sneed. Sneed working for Van Hollen now, so watch how the progression of this party goes and watch the laws that they've been writing since then. That's Nick Mosby and the Maryland Mosby. That's the Maryland Black Caucus, like I said. And these are the white people pulling the strings behind the machine. These are the white people pulling the strings behind the machine. All right. That's Jason Newton and Congressman Cummings. And Congressman Cummings got all this. Like I said, I was making a movie about y'all, a documentary about being black in white America. Jimmy Britton to tell you, Jimmy Britton is a caterer. When I first came here, Jimmy told me about how to get money. He told me about y'all. That's Carl Stokes. Like I said, it's 52 of y'all that I want. Y'all ain't in office no more. So immunity doesn't apply to you. You're not in office. You, Jack Young, Mary Pat Clark, the Dirty Dozen. Sheila called y'all the Dirty Dozen on December the 10th on 2010. Sheila Dixon called y'all the Dirty Dozen. She said that y'all sold her out, and I was there, and y'all put me out. Remember that? The Dirty Dozen? Well, we're going to show the Dirty Dozen and how black people been selling out black Baltimore. Like I said, my fight was in Lake County, Illinois. Y'all made me fight this in Illinois. This is a legal notice. I went home on vacation. I came back on probation. That's Baltimore City, Baltimore County, and Lake County, Illinois. I fired my lawyer and defended myself, which is my constitutional right. And I pleaded my case right here. All right. You charged me with a terrorist activity, a bomb threat. I never did that. I was insured for that. You see who got it? Governor O'Malley, Governor Quinn, the Attorney General of Illinois, and the Attorney General of Maryland. President Obama asked for an investigation about my incarceration. So I kept a jailhouse diary of everything, of everything. I also filed charges against the state, N62528. I filed against my lawyer because my lawyer and my state's attorney, they worked together to incarcerate me. It was collusion, coercion, all right? And that's Karen Levy. Now, Karen Levy, Jerome Joyce, y'all got paperwork. And that's the complaint. Attorney registered disciplinary for me. I filed the same complaint in Ellen in Maryland. Evidence for trial. Yeah. Produce and permit the defendant's personal representatives to inspect and copy. Yeah. We want all that. That's Jack Young. President Jack Young. All right. That's the case right there. 
I was going to make Jack Young tell the truth. And it's all right here. This is in Illinois. I mean, Maryland. Dwayne G. Davis, prisoner advocate. All right, I'm a prisoner's right advocate. Section 2C. Since your staff did such a Herculean job, Mr. O'Neill, then tell Dr. Tobin does exist. She does out of, she works out of classification department. A, a psych doctor from the courts also talked to Miss Green and asked her about the mail I got Tuesday. Office of Minority Affairs, Governor, Governor O'Malley's office. Governor O'Malley sent me a letter from when I was locked up in 2011. It was the Office of Governor of Minority Affairs. This is what y'all mad about. The 85 case. All right. 1985. From 1972 to 1985, I sold drugs, guns, prostitution. I did it all. All right. That was me. That's me right there. And that's Val King. That's Will King. And they'll tell you, I don't run from the police and I don't run for no fight. In 1986, I turned in guns and drugs to the police at the police station. I turned in my client list. It was judges, lawyers, businessmen. It was no black people that I turned in. I turned in all white people. And that's why you got mad. You feel me? And that was in 1986. So in 2011, I chose to do it again. I was making a movie, Letters Design, making a movie showing you how I changed my life. That's Judge Boris, because back in 2000, and, no, in 1986, Judge Boris stole $15,000 from me. Judge Boris was state's attorney's Boris. I was showing you the corruption behind the war on drugs. They found $15,000 in my house, and they kept it. They didn't turn it into property. They didn't do none of that. It was money I raised for my nonprofit. I was a nonprofit, all right? I wish to inform you of my intentions. I don't want any misunderstandings about what I say or do and mean. Do you remember me now? Consider this a reenactment of the chain of events that led to this point in time. The true measure of a man in society is the ability to take and care and protect the poor and underclass. The treatment of the minorities can't be considered justice. I call it a sickness. Your justice is racist. Justice is supposed to be blind. You're more than welcome to dispute any of my statements. I am liable for the any of my statements that I make that are not true. And you are too. But then again... You're going to do one of two things. You're going to take the Fifth Amendment or remain silent. You can't hide behind the law because I'm going to attempt to place the judicial system on trial. You know I can sue you. The question is, I'm not limited to 120 days. That rule only applies to charges after they're filed. Yeah, I told y'all what I was going to do to you. You go to Pastor Caples. He'll explain it. Pastor Caples didn't do nothing for me. I gave Pastor Caples fifteen. I gave Pastor Caples fifteen hundred dollars because y'all was threatening to kill me. I told Pastor Caples to bury me, and I gave y'all nine letters to Zion, the city of Zion. You feel me? I go this hard, and here I am. Are we there yet? That's the state of Illinois. All right. Versus Dwayne Davis. All right. Case numbers. Zero seven. All right. That's saying that uh, at which time you must appear for a warrant will be issued for your arrest. I refuse to go back to Illinois. I refuse to go back. And you can go to parole and probation. You can go to Adam May. I refuse to go back. I refuse extradition because I didn't get a trial. I wanted a trial here in Maryland. Yeah. I asked for the nomad hearing because I was kidnapped and I wouldn't go on back to that state to be held again illegally. You see the date on that? All right. Now, this is the date I sent my lawyer. 2010. This letter is a follow up to our videotape phone call 313-2010 pertaining to my failure and refusal to defend my civil and constitutional rights. Violations. I was illegally incarcerated in the state of Illinois. 12-24-2007. I was never Mirandaized. I was denied food and medical attention while I was held in the Lake County Jail. I have asked you on five separate occasions to file a motion of dismissal and a writ of sociority directly to the United States Supreme Court. You as my lawyer have a moral and ethical obligation to defend my rights with the due diligence of the law. Your failure and refusal to address these issues we discussed while I was in the state of Illinois. I also repeatedly asked you to contact Lisa Madigan, Patrick Fitzgerald, and the Chicago FBI. 
to have an open public statewide federal grand jury hearing into the treatment of the inmates in the Lake County Jail, as well as 300 members of Shorty's nonprofit organization dealing with the criminal justice system in Lake County, Illinois. Senator Cardins, the state of Maryland, sent you, as well as countless other officials in the state of Illinois, telling you I was making a documentary. Judge Boris received certified mail 4-7-2007, telling him, Governor Blagojevich, the Lake County Board, and the justices in the court in the 19th Judicial District, the Lake County, I have a right to a fair trial. And based on Dred Scott decision in 1857, court-appointed lawyers need to file motions and have my cases heard on the nomad system for the world to see. Democracy in America. I attempted to file a motion myself February of 2008. Review the transcripts. All right. Y'all got this. Chicago FBI. Carl Snow, the Civil Rights Division, Director of Maryland. I gave you I gave you that. Lake County Sheriff, Sheriff Coran. All right. I'm looking for a federal grand jury because I was kidnapped. I was kidnapped and you got over 300 members of my organization. And this who know about it. That's President Obama. That's Lisa Madigan. That's Patrick Fitzgerald. That's the director of the FBI. That's Governor O'Malley. That's the Lake County Board. That's Sam Cunningham. That's Mary Ross Cunningham. That's, yeah, that's your county board. Snowden, Eric Holder, Attorney General, Secretary of State. Because I asked to give up my citizenship. This is the Democratic Party and the corruption in the Democratic Party. The FBI is protecting it. That's notarized. You see that? That's legal in any state in the world. Dwayne G. Davis, Dred Scott. That's a public notice. Carroll County. Yeah. You got that? The office of the NAACP. Scott Schellenberger had this in 2010. So if he had this in 2010, why did he lock me up in 2011? Y'all were shielding your corruption. Don Lemon has it from CNN. So does... Uh, a lot of people in the media got it. Don Lemon got it. Omar Juentez got it. Dakari Turner got it. Jane Miller got it. Stephen Janis got it. Richard Sher got it. Mike Shu, Adam May, Vic Carter, Kai Jackson. Yeah, y'all had this since 2010. That's Governor Blagojevich. If Blagojevich can go to jail, so can Governor O'Malley. If Blagojevich can go to jail, so can 52 of these Democrats that's been shielding this corruption. Y'all been selling seats like Blagojevich was selling seats. I'm writing you, Lissetta, because I need your help to clear my name and criminal record. This packet contains all the information. Yeah, he got a whole packet. Block party gets bigger and better. All right. Davis, who owns a barbecue business, said he and others. All right. Look around. We dying out here. We are. We dying out here. We dying out here. I buried my son. And that's what this was about. It's about the murder and the death of our kids. That's me. And I'm still standing. Dwayne Shorty Davis puts his skills to the... Yeah. When I was locked up, that's my producer, Rob Fix. And we fell out. I don't deal with him no more. But everything that he got, we're going to turn over. Because like I said, I'm a whistleblower on the courts and the criminality in the courts. That's the U.S. Attorney's Office. That's February 2019. Two years later, y'all still ain't did an investigation. I'm writing you in reference to Dwayne G. Shorty Davis. All right? That's Johnny Oleski. And that federal investigation is going to cover Baltimore City Council. It's going to cover the mayor of Baltimore. It's going to cover the Baltimore City Delegation. Baltimore Commissioner Harrison. And State's Attorney Mosby. Department of Justice. We're going to dismantle your criminal enterprise in 2020. Now, you can go to Keys Development. I work for everybody in Baltimore. I'm a cook. I reinvented myself. And this is 2014. Y'all destroyed evidence right here. Thank you for visiting the Maryland House Judiciary Committee. Yeah, I gave this to the House Judiciary Committee. You feel me? I refiled it in 2014. Did it again in 2020. That's Ferguson. That's Luke Clippinger. This is your signs. And like I said, block party gets bigger and better. These are the people that had that. Edwards had it. Lieutenant Governor Brown had it. Mikulski, Ruppersberger, Brantz, Cummings. Those are your numbers. 
Because I was making a movie about y'all. Got a story, get shorty. Keys development. It's discrimination in public accommodations right here. All right, federal and state laws prohibit the discrimination. You can't deny me access to the courts. That's Larry Lezza from CNN. That's Ed Norris. That's the Maryland Black Caucus. That's Josh Davison from Hearst. That's T Tony Bridges, Delegate Bridges right there. That's Bobby Zirkin. That's Telma Branch. All right, these are your elected officials. Y'all had this. 1402 Lochner. Dear Judge Bridges, I'm respectfully requesting the permission to go to the course of travel to Washington, D.C. to visit the Department of Justice, the FBI, and various members of the Illinois and Maryland staff of Congress. All right. You got this? Judge Boris and my lawyer, Mr. Bailey. All right. Refuse to respond to more mail. All right. Karen Levy. Grant. Getting ready to file a... Uh, FCC violations. I'm getting ready to file this FCC violations. And I'm going to file them against the Baltimore Sun. I'm going to file them against the Baltimore Sun. Jane Miller. Stephen Janis. The Real News. The Afro-American Newspaper. Uh, the Waukegan News Sun. The Chicago Tribune. The Chicago Sun-Times. Fox 45. Sinclair Broadcasting. The Baltimore Sun, Westboro Baptist Church, freedom of speech. These toilets is a form of freedom of speech, and they covered under the Constitution, the First Amendment. All right. That's me. Shorty Davis is a Baltimore activist. He has been involved in issues including corruption in the judicial system, police brutality, pol politician transparency in the prison industry, the military industrial complex. His program, Shorty's Self-Help Organization for the Redevelopment and Reeducation of the Young, focuses on social economic hardships faced by young people in the city of Baltimore. Fondly, re fondly referred to as Shut Him Down Shorty, he challenges racists and corrupt state officials, oftentimes when they, with a muffet of toilets. He decorates the toilets with political names, faces, and evidence of wrongdoing in the places in the public places, an act in which landed him in attention in national media. Shorty's protest art has been featured in Chicago, New York, Washington, and Baltimore, among other cities. I'm an activist. I'm not a terrorist. And I put that toilet and that TV in front of the Baltimore County Detention Center in the Baltimore County Courts. And it was the Constitution. And I had Mary Washington on it for selling out the black community. How much money did Mary take? Mary, don't you weep. She was on the TV. I named 52 of y'all, Mary Washington, McIntosh, the Maryland Black Delegation. Like I said, the 2020 session, I want the grand jury. The 2021 session, I want the grand jury because I'm a whistleblower on the courts and the criminality in the courts. I'm a whistleblower on the Democratic Party and the corruption in the party. There's 52 of y'all, Brandon Scott, Nick Mosby, Corey McRae, Sid Nor. It's going to be like the Stop Snitching video. In 2006, y'all made that Stop Snitching video, and y'all sent all them brothers to jail. That's when I started this movie in 2006, to Get Shorty. If them brothers can go to jail, then so can these politicians, because you, un you unlawfully enriched your yourself. You unlawfully enriched yourself, and that's against the law. You can't use your position of power to put money in your pockets. And the way that y'all set the laws up and, and run your racketeering and fraud, it's criminal. If Blagojevich can go to jail... You can go to jail. Spiro T. Agnew went to jail. Richard Nixon went to jail. Y'all politicians ain't above the law. It's called Operation Dominoes, just like Operation Grey Lord. Operation Dominoes mean that we're going to see who's going to snitch on who. I'm a whistleblower. 2021 session, I get to testify in front of Annapolis Grand Jury. If I don't get the Grand Jury, we're going to the Supreme Court. I'm a whistleblower. And... Mm. And you're going to be my witness. You're going to be a witness or a defendant. But we're talking about the prison industry here. I'm a political prisoner. 
I'm a prisoner's right advocate. And we're going to talk about the chits and my filings. I'm a prisoner's right advocate. And we're going to talk about my rights. We're going to talk about my rights and while I was locked up because I got a jailhouse diary. All right. And that paperwork. It's all about exposing the corruption in the Democratic Party. If Jesse Jackson Jr. can go to jail and his wife, so can you. Y'all gonna snitch. Y'all go to jail together. A couple that steals together and go to jail together. Y'all took my property. Y'all participated in the fraud. And y'all want to protect this. You the Speaker of the House. You was a witness when I testified in front of Baltimore County. You, te I was, you were there. So was Jack. You was there in Annapolis. I'll be in Annapolis in 2021 session. We're going to do what we do. We're going to make this happen. We're going to change. We're going to change the corruption in Baltimore City. We're going to kill it before it grows. Nick Mosby, you're going to snitch on Brandon. Brandon going to snitch on you. Marilyn going to snitch on all of y'all. But we're going in front of the grand jury. I'm going in front of Baltimore City grand jury. Lock me up. But I'm going to knock on that door. I gave you evidence to go in front of the grand jury. Mosby, you ain't returned that information. On 2014, Nick Mosby, Marilyn Mosby, John Cardins, Brian Frost, David Wiggins. We was all in the room together at the NAACP forum. We were all together at the NAACP forum. Hassan Giordano, yeah. I told y'all what I was going to do then. And I'm a man of my word. You got knowledge. You got evidence. And I handed you the shorty program with Ron Matz. I got the pictures. Like I said, y'all like taking pictures. It's your vanity. So I use your vanity as your Achilles heel. Smile for the camera because we're going in front of the grand jury in 2021. Speaker Jones, you got information. I'm a whistleblower. Delegate Sheila Roof got my complaint. Y'all got to act on that complaint. That's the FCC. So we're going to make sure that all of this is told. The greatest story never told. You feel me? And we're going to make sure that all of it is told. How much did you sell us out for, Mary Washington? FBI Baltimore. Special Agent Richard McFeely. You feel me? Special Agent Richard McFeely. Washington, D.C. Lifestyles. We're getting ready to change your lifestyle. We're going to see if you're going to go to jail. You feel me? We're going to see if you go to jail. Trading places.